Hey friends, Dean here. Before we get you on to your episode, I want to take a moment to invite you to our next virtual online trivia night. Wednesday, May 13th at 8 p.m. Join us either on our Facebook group or on our YouTube page for three rounds of fun trivia, music questions, movie questions, general knowledge questions. It'll be a fun time and a chance to win some prizes and have just a good relaxing night uh, of some trivia at, at home. You don't even have to go out for it. So don't forget, Wednesday, March 13th at 8 p.m. Join us on our Facebook group or YouTube for three rounds of fun virtual online trivia. We'll see you there. He's been called the Halston of Halloween. And if you were a kid from the 50s to the 80s, chances are you wore one of his designs while out on your trick-or-treat expedition. The story of Ben Cooper and his iconic line of Halloween costumes is up next. Stay with us. You're listening to a 3324 podcast quick hit with Dean Legiro, where Dean shares stories and trivia about his favorite chart hits, actors, movies, and more. Welcome, friends, to your 3324 podcast quick hit for the week. My name is Dean. Thanks for joining me. We appreciate it. Quick hits come out every Monday, and we've got full-length episodes that come out every Thursday. So join us there, won't you? So let's talk about Halloween. For children, Halloween is a magical time of the year. The leaves begin to turn The weather starts to cool a bit, and the sun starts setting a bit earlier each day, setting the stage for the last day of October, when little ghouls and ghosts roam the countryside going door to door in search of Halloween treasure. No Halloween is complete without having a costume equipped to scare the daylights out of unsuspecting neighbors that answer that doorbell on the 31st. As I stated in the intro, if you went trick-or-treating in the 1950s to the 1980s, There's a better than even chance that Ben Cooper had a hand in your Halloween excursion. Before he became the king of costumes, Ben Cooper studied accounting. He tried his hand briefly at songwriting, then started a theatrical costume business in 1927. With the Great Depression taking a toll on live theater in the 30s, Ben founded Ben Cooper Incorporated and took control of A.S. Fishbach Incorporated, which at the time had the licensing rights to produce costumes based on characters from Walt Disney. In 1942, the two companies merged as one, and the costume titan Ben Cooper Incorporated really started to come into their own. In those early days, most of the costumes were of the witch and monster type, but when the 1950s rolled around, designs for Davy Crockett, Zorro, and Superman started making their way into homes. With its thin vinyl mask and paper-thin fabric jumpsuit, costumes in the 40s were sold at retailers such as JCPenney, Sears, Woolworth, and other five-and-dime stores of the era. A costume would sell for about $1.25, which amounts to roughly $14 in today's currency. Ben Cooper would try and keep on the cutting edge of trends and new characters that could quickly be transformed into a costume, and in 1963 took a chance on creating a costume for a little-known comic book character at the time, Marvel Comics' Spider-Man. Ben Cooper costumes became the default choice for kids for decades and was considered in the top three in the costume game alongside Collegeville and Halco. There were a few controversies, though, most notably in the late 70s, There was some backlash about the release of a children's costume from an R-rated film. That costume would be the Xenomorph, better known as the Alien from the film Alien. In the early 80s, sales also took a hit during the Tylenol tampering scare, where seven people died from taking the pain reliever that was tampered with. Worried parents kept their children home at night in fear of what might be brought into the house. Ben Cooper weathered those controversies, and although sales increased yearly throughout the 80s, The company was not without its share of financial problems, and in 1989, the company filed for bankruptcy. They did emerge later in the year, but the handwriting was on the wall, and the company would file again in 1991, and would eventually be bought by Ruby's Costume Company in 1992. Ben Cooper costumes are a part of Halloween history, allowing parents an affordable way for their children to dress up as their favorite monster, superhero, or TV personality. In 2021, it appears that the Ben Cooper brand has risen from the grave, much like some of the monsters their costumes were based on. Target has been selling a Darth Vader and a Yoda costume with Ben Cooper branding and distributed by Rubies. Of note, 
these costumes are adult sized. So this is definitely target to those adults looking to relive the childhood glories of Halloween's past. This has been Dean with your 3324 Quick Hit. This has been a 3324 Podcast Quick Hit. You can find us on your favorite podcast provider. So please like, subscribe, and rate to become a part of the 3324 family. Your feedback is important, so please make sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook at 3324podcast and on Twitter at 3324p to join the conversation. 